Hello and welcome to another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the weekly show in which I, Reynard Wilson, give to you the mind of one man. His name is Mark Steele, and he's been called Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. He is the man who believes that we are all going to be murdered by lampposts. He thinks lampposts and the 5G phone network will destroy all life on Earth. But today we're going to explore one of the more outré aspects of Mark Steele's conspiracy beliefs. We're going to explore Mark's views on the weather. Well, it's August, people, um, and it's not boiling, it's not hot. Mark is evidently very concerned about the weather in Gateshead. That's where he lives, in the northeast of England. And the northeast is one of the colder parts of the British Isles. But uh, the whole of the British Isles has had pretty rainy weather these last few months. We've had a horrific July, cooled, bad temperatures, and now we're into August. We still haven't had a summer, still haven't had a barbecue out. Mark, if you're going to be a fair weather griller and not get your barbecue out when the ambient temperature is below 25 Celsius, that's not going to leave many barbecuing days when you live in Gateshead. In the it's not boiling, it's not hot. CO2's disappeared. I've been talking about this for ages. Been... The environmental catastrophe that uh, has been predicted as a consequence of increasing levels of CO2 in the atmosphere. Well, we can call it off. Mark Steele has revealed that all of the CO2 is gone and there's nothing to worry about. So why aren't we barbecuing? That's Newcastle, by the way. This is one of the low emission zone Pay extra £12.50 a day. But that's because the council's bankrupt, because it's run by eco fascist Nazi terrorists. Well, hello to Newcastle. I am on the Greek island of Astipalea in the Aegean Sea, one of the hottest places in Europe right now. And uh, I guess it couldn't be more different to rainy, grey Newcastle. There's, there's not a, a single cloud in the sky. And I've got to say, Things are so warm, I'm just having to stay in the sea just to keep cool. I put that ionospheric radiator as in mess up with the uh, weather. It's called geoengineering. Somebody is putting radiation devices into the ionosphere. And if Mark Steele doesn't like it, then I don't like it either. I want my ionosphere entirely devoid of whatever the hell it is Mark thinks is being put up there. Uh, but by whom? I, I just... Mark, I'm going to need some details, please. Who is responsible for this travesty? Amazing how we'll get all these stop oil extinct. None of them know about geoengineering. That's a bit amazing, isn't it? So it should be a subject they should be well aware about. They seem to not want to know. If the world's climate scientists and environmental activists all dismiss your theories as crackpot nonsense, if they think that your idea of nano radiators in the ionosphere is pure nonsense well that can only be proof that you're onto something yes as mark often says you take more flack when you're over the target so if everybody is saying that your theories are wrong then they must be right i can't even look up and see this stratospheric aerosol injection I can't even see that that's how dumb these dummies are well, whatever it is that Mark Steele thinks he sees in the clouds, I'm not seeing it either. So unless they're invisible, I actually, I have literally no idea what Mark Steele is talking about. Nazis, Klaus Schwab, a Nazi, the head of the European Union, another Nazi, right? These are all Nazis. We've got the same type of political agenda in Parliament of course, it's the Nazis. Who else would have a plan so insidious, so evil, as to put a bunch of nanometer antenna things into the ionosphere, causing Gateshead to become a little bit overcast and, and maybe also Greece to become blue sky? I don't actually get it, Mark. What exactly did these Nazis do? Hitler tried it once. I don't think they're going to get away with it this time. And this temperature should be a warning to everybody that you've been lied to on an industrial scale by terrorists. 
to destroy your way of life. Hasn't it been another wild ride? We've learned that the unusual climate experienced in Europe and the United Kingdom, which has caused heat waves in places and rainy weather in others, well, that's nothing to do with the jet stream and uh, global warming. It's all about nano meta climate engineering things that Mark Steele thinks live in the ionosphere and may or may not be related to chemtrails. My mind has been truly blown and I'm sure yours are too. But if you're, uh, if you're wondering like me whether Mark is as genuine in his climate activism as he is in his anti-Nazi activism, let's just have a quick look at his personal telegram chat. And, and note, he seems to post an awful lot of content from the British activist Tommy Robinson. Now we know that the weather in Gateshead, and presumably also here in the Isles of Greece, is not the result of global warming and increased levels of carbon dioxide. No, it is the fault of Nazis, but not the kinds of Nazis that Mark still likes. No, the other kinds of Nazis, the ones such as Boris Johnson and Klaus Schwab that Mark Steele definitely doesn't like. He believes that they are inserting some kind of ionospheric radiation devices into the clouds that cause the weather to change. It's geoengineering. And you know what else, folks? The environmental activists and climate scientists are all in a state of denial. Mark Steele knows the truth and they don't. Well, I hope today has been another truly informative and helpful episode of Mind of Steel. And, and now, armed with the truth, you can go and live a more wholesome life than you could maybe approximately 10 minutes ago. And let's hope that in another week's time, I will have another episode of Mind of Steel prepared. And you can go on exceeding and becoming a better person, thanks to the moral and spiritual guidance of Mark Steele.